How to start an Etsy shop in 2018. Can a new shop rank? Hey, it's Pam Duffy and I'm here to help you craft your career with creative marketing advice. Every Monday I make videos just like this. So if you're interested in learning about selling online, especially on Etsy for the small artist or crafter, don't forget, come back every Monday. People say a new shop can't rank in the Etsy search. Is this true? Let me know in the comments. Do you think it's harder for a new shop to rank in the search? Do you think it's impossible to be seen amongst all the established shops on Etsy? So especially when you're a very new shop and you don't have lots of followers and you don't have returning customers, it's so important to be found in the Etsy search. But it is also harder to rank. You don't have a selling history, you don't have returning customers, you don't have feedback, you don't have that many items in your shop. So it can be really hard to rank but it is possible if you're strategic. It's very, very unlikely that a small shop is going to rank for a very broad term. Something like wedding ring is going to be a massively competitive term and the people at the top of that are large established shops with lots of sales history. But actually the kind of good thing is, even if you did rank for that, the chances of making a massive amount of sales for that are not that high because it is such a broad term. Someone searching for something very broad, wedding ring or hat, they don't have the best idea in mind of what they want to buy, so they're more likely browsing. So it's a kind of, I'll know it when I see it kind of thing. So that's not a high engagement for what they search for. They're not as likely to buy when they see something. However, it's possible to rank for a very specific term and the good news with that is it's also far more likely to get sales if you do rank for it. So rather than hat, purple baby beanie hat, say that five times fast, that specific type thing, someone knows in their head already what they're wanting to buy, they know what it should look like. So if they type in that search, your item comes up, your item looks like what they had in the head because it's an exact description of what you've made then they're far more likely to purchase it. So rather than think of keywords and terms that are really, really vague, ring, hat, bookmark, think of these most specific things and then get yourself across to Etsy rank and find out if these keywords are any good. Ideally, we're looking for keywords that have the lowest possible competition with the highest search volume and the highest engagement because this is you're looking to rank against the least number of people, but the most number of people are searching and the most number of people are likely to purchase. Obviously, however, these keywords are like gold. So we're just gonna pick the best that we can. With a very small shop, you're going to tend to want to be searching for the lowest competition keyword phrases that you can find. So using the keyword tools in Etsy rank to get ideas of different types of keywords that you could use that are still relevant for your shop. And and have a look at how competitive they are. And here's where you can be very sneaky to give yourself a bit of a boost. So if you check out in the cards my video, The Eatsy Secrets, this tells you this very super secret tip that we're going to use to try and get the best results from our tiny shop. Basically, rather than thinking of just one listing that we're going to try and optimise for this term that we found and we think is fantastic, we're going to have a series of listings. I'd say hopefully try and have four or five similar listings. They don't want to be identical, but we want some similar listings. So maybe the same thing in different colours or different versions of what it already is. And digging through an Etsy rank, you're gonna to want to have found several different keyword phrases that are relevant for your items and you want to rank for. And what we're going to do is use each item to support the other items. So if you have the five items, you're gonna think of two or three different phrases that are really important that you want to rank for some of these items. So if you haven't already checked my live stream where I spoke about declumping right at the start there, it's possible that Etsy is stopping the declumping thing, which means that you might be able to have more than one item on page one of the Etsy search. But again, this might change in the future. So we're going to try and not have all our eggs in one basket anyway, but thinking of three or four different keyword phrases that are important. So for example, when I started with my mum's 
shop what we were looking at was her tartan stags head cards and pictures. So I identified a whole bunch of different keyword phrases that were relevant for these cards. But in Etsy rank I found a couple that did seem kind of good in that they had medium competition, which is at least tricky for a brand new shop, but high engagement and high search volume. So these looked like some pretty good terms to try and rank for. And these terms were dear silhouette and Harris Tweed. So what I did with the four or five different items was I mixed up between the items I would have two or three of them using the tag Harris Tweed because they were Harris Tweed and two or three using the term Stag's Head and then I had other keyword phrases that were kind of important as well. So I would try and make a title that wasn't all spammy, not all stuffing different keywords in it, but would say something like Harris Tweed Dear Wall Art for one, and then the, uh, the next one might say Tartan Stag Silhouette Picture. So these are all exactly what the item is, but just all saying it in different ways. So every single title is different. And then in the tags, the first several tags would be from the title, so like Dear Silhouette, Tartan Wall Hanging, you know, whatever it was that was in the title, these would become the tags for the first few tags. But then other tags would be the tags I was focusing in from the other items. So these were not optimised for this item, but they would give the other item a bit of a boost. And then in writing the description, I would make sure at the top of the description, the first sentence contained all the keywords from the title and the next part of the description would, while still trying to be proper English, not keyword stuffing, but I would attempt to make sentences that said the terms that I was trying to optimise in my tags. And so this would mean that I would have four or five items that all contained similar tags, but some were trying to focus on with the title and the description were more focusing on certain tags and some were focusing on certain other tags. So they were all boosting each other. And I made sure I didn't put them all up at the exact same time. I spread them out, just putting up a couple of items every day, once in the morning, once in the evening, because it's far better to have regular updated things than everything all in a chunk and then nothing for weeks and weeks. So how did we do? Well for the search Harris Tweed which I knew would be competitive and it isn't as broad as I'm saying we should go because obviously I was looking at Harris Tweed Deer or Harris Tweed Scotty Dog or these kind of terms but I noticed in going through Etsy rank that Harris Tweed could actually be quite a reasonable tag to choose. So two days of putting up listings and trying to optimise for Harris Tweed and we had an item on page three. And then four days later, continuing to do this, we had a different item on page three. So without that much work, I mean, the shop is not optimised at all, I have to be honest. Um, my mum's not been well and this was over Christmas, so we we had more important things to be doing. So the shop itself doesn't have all its policies in place. It's not got all its best practices up. So even with that, with a brand new shop, we were able to get on page three for a pretty good search term. And the other term that I'd identified, Dear Silhouette, two days in on trying to optimise for this, we were on page one for Dear Silhouette. So is it possible that a small shop can rank on the Etsy search? It totally is if you're strategic about it. So don't forget, if these videos have been helpful, click on my wee face to subscribe, come back every Monday, and check out this video that YouTube's picked just for you. Thank you so much.